Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Pop Art Hunter channel. Today, we've got an unboxing. It's a bigger un unboxing, and uh, I don't know exactly what's inside. <laughs> Sounds pretty solid. Hopefully, it's not breakable since I'm shaking it about, but let's go ahead and get started and see what's inside. So, I am a schmuck. I started a recording. I hit that record button, but apparently I didn't hit it, and so I missed the first part of this and only noticed a little bit ago that I was a recording. So I opened this big box, which turns out to be a huge Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle lot. I only opened three things so far. So we've got uh, this little uh, shredder mobile, I think, or something like that it's called. It came with one of these little side pieces, which I'm missing one of the small ones and one of the big ones on the other vehicle I have of this. So the only two vehicles I have are this one uh, and this one, and then the, like some of the big stuff, like the Technodrome and the Scout and the Scout vehicle. Um, so I'm gonna use this to complete, or partially out complete, I'm missing the big one as well, uh, the, the Shredder Mobile that I have. Uh, so that's a, a plus. This one is almost completely, um, like as far as the pieces that wouldn't be easy to replace, like these little figures, uh, these little like joysticks here, those snap off, it's kind of hard to replace them or find them. Um, so those are intact, I'm missing a couple of missiles, but I may have those available in a couple other lots that I have of, accessories for vehicles. So I'll see if I, I get anything to do there. And then there's this little ATV looking sort of, sort of thing that goes into another vehicle or version and it's got a little thing that went in there. I don't even know if that goes to it. Uh, but, oh, and they, yeah, they got these little th things here. Oh, and they got the, whoa, look at this. I didn't even know it did this. They got these little things that twist out around that. That's a neat little bit of vehicle. I didn't even know it did that. This. Okay, so that's that. Don't have that on at all. And now we'll start unboxing stuff that I didn't unbox. So I didn't go through any of the box any further beyond those pieces because I didn't know exactly um, that the camera wasn't recording. This uh, is a Bebop mobile. I, I don't know what it's called. I think, I think Bebop rides this one, or at least he's on a the cover of the box, if I don't, if I remember correct. Uh, it's got a couple pieces on here that are intact. It's got, you know, the skull on the front, which is really nice. Uh, wheels are all on there. Uh, looks like, oh, it's missing this piece here. So that's how, that's how broken off. Which again, I don't know how easily some of these are to be replaced. It looks like if you just take out one or two screws here, you should be able to get this whole thing off. So if you found another one of these, you could easily replace that unit. So that shouldn't be too, too bad. So I can use this as parts and pieces. Got this lot for a relatively reasonable price. Oh, we got a Krang uh, chair there, a little mech chair. Got it for a really reasonable price. So, you know, anything I get out of it is worth it for me, even little bits on bobbles. Um, so we got this hot on. It's got uh, the skate, I, th I think you call it. Got one of those little uh, joystick things. Yeah, pretty good condition. I miss out on the other one. I'm assuming there would be two of them. But then again, no, actually there might not be two of them because there's not another little slot on the side there. So, I'm not sure what we might be missing off of that. I'm not into the vehicles as much. Gas mask required, a little cone. Not into the vehicles as much. Uh, I haven't started really collecting those too much. I have the Technodrome and the Scout vehicle and just a couple little non-complete sort of things. So these are all relatively new for me. So we got this one, a little bike here. I'm trying to see if it does anything. It looks like it may convert into something. And this looks like it maybe opens. I'm just looking here at what might open up. So we, there we go. So these things open up and it maybe becomes like a plane. I don't know if that is supposed to open. <laughs> oh yeah, it's supposed to open. Oh, there we go. I should use a lot of pressure. So it comes down that. There it becomes a, I don't know, a plane or something. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what it's supposed to be exactly. All right, we have an ace duck. The reason I got this, it was extremely cheap. Came with a belt and two eggs. So why not take out one I can get? Get it. Okay. Don't know what these are. Looks like parts and pieces. Missing one little red thing, which isn't so bad uh, because those pop on and off pretty easily. Uh, so if you find one of those, it should be easy to replace. The thing that's tough, oops. I think it's tough is when so something is co completely snapped off that's an integral part, part of it. Like if this silver piece was to be snapped off here, the, the vehicle's toast. It's only a, for parts at that point. Beware of the blast. Don't know what this is. Must be some sort of trash compactor weapon for a vehicle. 
people watching this are going to think, what an idiot. He doesn't know what any of this stuff is. Well, it's true. I know very little about what this is. I think this is a pogo copter. And then I called the other thing the shredder mobile, but I don't even know if those are right or not. Okay. So we got this little boat, a speed belt. It's got a little ski. Speed ski, maybe. Maybe that's the thing because it has a ski with it. Uh, I got a couple of uh, these little bombs. I don't know how they go with this one. I'm missing one of the littlest bombs there. So something to look for. And again, either these are going to become base units or, you know, parts pieces. And so one of the way or the other, it's going to be okay for me. Oh, I get this uh, Michelangelo figure because I don't have very many of the little nunchucks. So I want to make sure I got those. It comes with a belt and a couple accessories. Yeah, I can use it for him or some of the 88 figures. But the uh, nunchucks are worth it for me alone just to get him. I'm going to put that aside in my little accessory bin so they don't get lost. Got uh, one here that got out of that way. Zach, the, the neutrino, I think his name is called me. He's got a backpack on, he's got a hose, and he's got a little board, uh, hover board thing here. I think there might be something else that goes with him. I think he has a gun. Maybe that goes with him. I think I might even have that on order. Who knows? If I remember correctly. Oh, okay. I do not have this shredder. This is a wacky action shredder. Looks like he's missing a couple of his little blades here. But we do do have one of them and they pop off relatively easily. So I can either find some more blades or if I find a shredder that's missing two blades, I can use those. But uh, he's also missing one of his little wrist pads. So it might just become a, a parts piece or I'll get another one that, um, trying to see if this winds up on its own or not. So if I wind it, yeah, look at that. They're going okay. It looks like everything's spinning all right. Let me just see if the other arm is spinning. Yeah, so everything is spinning within him really out well. So again, either use it as a parts piece or if I find another shredder, I just need uh, two little blades, and one little sh um, armband and you will know, be pretty well complete. And then I got some weapons here. Oh, actually, maybe these are the, the things. I don't, I don't know what's supposed to go with him. So he's got... Oh, here's his other arm piece. Okay, so they just didn't take that off. Oh, look at this. I'm, I'm thinking here that he's not complete and maybe he is closer to complete than I thought. Ooh, and maybe, oh, okay, hold on. Hold on a second. I dropped a piece and my fear, whoop, is that I'm gonna roll over it with my chair and break it and break it even further. Now I'm rolling over bubble wrap. It sounds like I'm gonna, some sort of firefight or something, okay. So this, uh, let's see if we can snap that in there. Sometimes these pieces just don't want to go very easily. <sighs> you got to get them at the right angle. You got to put the right amount of pressure on them. It's just a whole thing. All right, we're not going to worry about that at this moment. I'll put that to the side. So I have a little thing there. We got a gear here. So that can go on top. But like there's one big gear, one small gear, and then I have a couple other big, big gears here, but I only have one more spot to put it, I think. Um, unless I'm missing a place, maybe that small gear does not go on here, and this big one does, or there's an X on one of these, or the wrong pieces. So now let's see, oh yeah, look at all those things spinning there. That's really cool. So let's wind them up just one more time for kicks. Look at that. Okay, he's got a little sai sword, a sickle down. Not a sai, a sickle. So we're gonna put him back. I'll check on him to see whether or not he's complete or not. I'm not exactly sure. Same thing with Zach and Neutrino. I'm not really sure if he is uh, complete either, but he's got a little bits and bobbles with him and that's a plus. Uh, the more bits and bobbles, the closer to complete he probably is. All right, got a few more things in here. Let's look at this. Oh, we got the beach. Bum Mikey. Now I got another one of these and I thought that it was maybe broken because this thing kind of like pulls out a little bit. I don't know if you can see that. I think that's maybe just the way it is. I think it's maybe a stopper or something. I think it actually just goes in that like that. So I don't think it's supposed to be a part of it. Um, the other one I have looks at maybe a little bit better condition, so I might switch out with that figure out. But I had none of the accessories, and I think these are all of the accessories, if I'm not mistaken. Could be missing some, that I'll have to double check. So, got another almost or complete figure. Another vehicle here. Got this little, uh, little cyclecopter thing. 
It looks like maybe something would go on the front there. And again, I might have a lot of these accessories. Um, oh, this does something. So these, ooh, so it spins around into some kind of another thing. And it's got guns or I, I don't know, it does something. This maybe spins are okay, I don't know. I don't know what's happening here. This is a, a bike, but maybe it's a, a hovercraft. I don't really know what this is. It's pretty, pretty cool though. And we got anything else in here? Yeah, we do have a couple more things. So let me just double check. So I got one, it looks like a file card here. We've got scumbug fi file card. Nothing else. Oh, no. oh. One more, it looks hot. I like a turtle. Okay, so we've got this skateboard and a couple of skates. So this is a roller blading Mikey or <laughs> I don't know if he's supposed to have roller blades. I think uh, I don't know this uh, the name of this uh, Mikey off the top of my head. Rock and rapping radical Mikey. Sometimes he's got this board and a, a couple skates with it. So maybe missing a weapon or something. It looks like it, it kind of seems like maybe he would come with a weapon. But then like Mondo Gecko, he only comes with a skateboard as well. So who knows? So anyway, lots of different figures here. Lots of different vehicles. I think this is a pretty good score overall. Can't complain. I have a few complete vehicles for Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. I've got the Technodrome, I've got a Scout vehicle uh, for the Technodrome, uh, but some of the other smaller vehicles, I really don't have many of them, and so this is uh, kind of a start to this collection. I have a couple little bits and pieces here and there. I've got a bunch of random accessories and weapons uh, that go to the vehicles, but I don't even know where they go to or how, so I don't know what from these I can complete or not, uh, but it's definitely gonna be my next phase in my journey of completing my Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle collection, uh, in addition to the Lucy's and you know some of the mock and uh, Mint and Box stuff. But anyway, uh, thanks for watching the Pop Art Hunter channel. Hopefully you enjoyed this unboxing. Uh, hopefully I can show you all the vehicles that I'm able to piece and put together. If I can complete any of them, I'll do a tour of my uh, Team and T collection at some point. But thanks for watching the Pop Art Hunter channel. Watch our other videos, like, subscribe, comment, all those sorts of things, and we will see you next time.